Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of complete high dirty deformed mole, also called molar pregnancy. You can see the scanning of the uterus and the whole length of uterus is filled with this molar pregnancy from the cervix to the fundus of the uterus. In fact, the normal uterine parenchyma is very poorly and hardly visible. Hydrated deform is a common complication of pregnancy. It consists of a non-viable embryo which implants and proliferates within the uterus. A hydrated deform mole can either be complete or partial. The presence or absence of the fetus or embryo is used to distinguish the complete from the partial moles. Complete moles are associated with the absence of fetus as you can see in this case there is no fetal or embryo seen in the uterus. Partial moles usually occur with an abnormal fetus or may even be associated with fetal demise. Rarely, moles coexist with a normal pregnancy that is called coexistent molar pregnancy in which normal fetus and placenta are seen separate from the molar gestation. Now, again, you can see the hydrated deform moles. Hydrated deform mole is a growth of abnormal fertilized egg or an overgrowth of tissue from the placenta. Women appear to be pregnant, but the uterus enlarge much more rapidly than the normal pregnancy. Most women have severe nausea and vomiting, vaginal bleeding, and very high blood pressure. On ultrasonography, it looks like a bunch of vesicles. As you can see in this case, a bunch of vesicles with interspersed fluid seen in the hole of the uterine cavity. Mostly painless vaginal bleeding during the second trimester of, uh, trimester of pregnancy is seen. They are diagnosed by ultrasound imaging, extremely high level of human chorionic gonadotropin HCG are suggestive but not diagnostic of molar pregnancy. A right ovarian cyst is also seen in this case. A molar pregnancy is when there is problem with the fertilized egg which means a baby and a placenta do not develop the way they should after conception. A molar pregnancy will not be able to survive. It happens by chance and is very rare. You can see the multiseptic right ovarian cyst. Multiple septa are also seen. A hydrated form Hydrated deep form mole is a pregnancy in which placenta contains grape-like vesicles, small sacs as you can see in this case, which are visible to the naked eye on ultrasound. The vesicles arise by distension of the chorionic villa by fluid. When examined under the microscope, hyperplasia of the tropoplastic tissue is noted. Hydrated deform mole is a tumor that forms in the uterus as a mass of cysts resembling bundle of grapes. Hydrated deform mole can appear during the childbearing years and they do not spread outside the uterus. A malignancy called choriocarcinoma may start from the hydrated deform mole. A pelvic ultrasound scan will show the presence of tissue inside the uterus with the characteristic snow storm appearance of the molar pregnancy. The scan may be performed via the abdominal pregnancy 
or the vaginal vagina ultrasound scanning shows a honeycomb pattern produced by the numerous vesicles as they enlarge the image is described look like a snow storm which is due to the swollen cysts with bleeding into the uterus the ovaries are often seen to be contain large cysts as you can see in this case a large right ovarian cyst is visible mostly a hydatid deform mole is an abnormal fertilized egg that develops into a hydatid deform mole rather than a fetus a condition called molar pregnancy hydatid deform moles are most common among women under 17 or over 35 years of age in the united states they occur in about uh, one in 2000 pregnancies now the risk of the molar pregnancy complete pre molar pregnancy is highest in women over the age of 35 and younger than 20 the risk is even higher for women over the age of 45 years but age is less likely to be a factor for partial moles for choriocarcinoma risk is lower before the age of 25 and then increases with the age until menopause hydatid deform hydatid deform mole should be taken as pre malignant lesion because 15 to 20% of complete hydatid deform moles and 1% of partial hydatid deform moles undergo malignant transformation into invasive moles choriocarcinoma or in rare case placental site trophoblastic tumors diagnostic is mostly doctors can diagnose a hydatid deform mole shortly after it forms hydatid deform mole can be suspected on the basis of symptoms such as uterus that is much larger and globular than expected and a vaginal discharge of grape like tissue a pregnancy test is done you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks